Hi, speaking is Ruth. My channel is Get Quilts Done, and today I'm not in my studio. I am outside the Puyallup Washington State Fair, and it is the Sew Expo. Uh, last time I was here is, was in 2020, and a few days later, the lockdown began, right after that. And uh, we all know, it is 2023. I am on the last day, and I can see right now that the parking lot is quite empty. Usually it's packed. I do know there's less vendors. I'm glad that the people are here, are here. I know what it's like because of a downturn to lose my business. That has happened to me before, so I'm, I am sorry for all the people that aren't here. I'm hoping they're doing well. They're just at home, and they still have their businesses. Uh, I'm just so happy to be here. Like me, I do love to shop, and I do have some uh, things that I plan on purchasing, and I do have uh, a few things that maybe I'll see and I'll uh, I'll buy that I didn't plan on. I will have a great time, and I'll jo enjoy being around people like me who love fiber. So let's go in. Okay, so on the left side of the screen. I took a picture of a picture from the magazine that I was given. You can see it's really packed out. There's a lot more vendors. On the right side, you can see it's a lot smaller, but it's still really beautiful. And I am in no way despairing that it's smaller this year or less vendors. The opposite. I am so grateful to Sew Expo and the people in charge who decided to go ahead with this, even though it was going to be a much smaller event and uh, not say that, oh, it's not worth my while. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you so much for the vendors. You all did a great job and you did a beautiful display. I'm sure it was at great risk, but I'm glad you came. Now I'm gonna talk about what I did manage to go, why I did manage to go and why I'm so happy I went. This is the uh, color card from Superior for Magnifico. It's really important because we buy so much online. This is more stuff from Superior. I'm switching over from bottom line. Uh, I'm still using bottom line, but I'm moving over to the cones because when I want, run out of thread, I have to wait <laughs> for it to be delivered. And sometimes I'm just not sewing like I want to on the project I want to. Uh, also in the left uh, corner below, uh, you can see silk thread. It's very expensive. It's for my daughter's uh, uh, wedding dress that I'm making. And of course, I bought extra needles. And the bottom line, I did buy a spool because I have so much at home of that color. And I will need it for the wedding dress. And uh, that's really worthwhile. I bought things with in the mind of doing it. I knew I was going to buy those things. This is a new magnifying glass that is disconnected from my machine but is still hand it do, doesn't need to be handheld and it's got lights so i can use it this is good for organizing the purple is the new one the turquoise ones are old i have several others i was overloading them and falling over they were falling over so that means that i'm not organizing anything i'm causing a mess and here it is, green fabric. I went with the idea of buying quarter uh, yards, fat quarters, that is, for uh, of green fabric. And I didn't see that much. It's the first time I've ever gone somewhere, uh, like a sew expo or a fabric store, with the idea of buying fabric and actually buying less. But don't worry, I'll still buy some more fabric. I'll find it. I'll find a way, that's for sure. Okay, so this was a really a big, uh, important thing for me to do. Uh, I am switching over from using pins to not using pins. I've had the clips before. I love them. I'm switching over to the mini clips uh, or using those in addition and the sew tights I'm new to. I'll probably do a video and buy more of them once I really learn how to use them. I have room to blouse and other things while I'm sewing by using pins. So I'm switching over because there's so many great alternatives and I think the sew tights are going to be probably a really big success. I'll tell you about it. So this was really important. I'm really an advocate for taking care of our sewing machines. If you have an advanced high level machine or an entry level machine or both or whatever you're using, take good care of it and make sure it's oiled and make sure it's kept clean. These 
uh, are really important because change the brushes every once in a while too. Make sure what you're using to keep it clean. This was the real fine. This was the splurge I didn't know I was going to buy. I'm really happy about it. I am making my daughter's wedding dress. I am not making my dress uh, for the wedding. I won't have time, but it is going to be in Hawaii, and I'm going to be touring around, so I had to buy something bright and cheery. I uh, do use patterns for when I sew clothes, uh, not for when I'm quilting, but I found I could be really creative. This is rayon, hand-dyed rayon. It is gorgeous. Uh, the pink is going to be the base and the sleeves and the gray with the... With the um, with the squares are going to be uh, the cuffs. It's going to be fabulous. What can I say? Okay, that's it. I had a great time at the Sew Expo. I wasn't disappointed. I didn't know what to expect, but uh, I did have a great time. I did buy a lot of beautiful things. I did get in contact with a few stores uh, that I'm going to travel quite a distance to go uh, to go in because they didn't have a lot of stuff there. The only way that we're going to have these magnificent marketplaces, these magnificent fairs get better is if we all go. We don't act like they're sad. They're not. The people that are there aren't sad. They're happy to be there. And when I spoke to them, they seemed to be doing fine. They got a lot of business. Okay, because remember, there may be less people, but there's also less vendors. So uh, that's the way it works. Sure, I didn't get a clapper. I couldn't get enough green fabric, but I did get some. And I did see a lot of people and speak to them. And I saw a lot of beautiful quilts. And I really enjoy that. Uh, I, I think that's the best part. And I also managed to speak to a lot of very creative people. I'm hoping that if all of us participate as much as possible, we're going to see a lot of vendors come back. We're going to thrive and uh, we're going to enjoy seeing this come back. That's what I really want to have. Next year, I hope wherever I am, next fair I go to, I'm going to say, wow, this is fun. I'm seeing a comeback. And the only way that's going to happen is, is if we all go out there and we do it. <laughs> okay. And we have no problem, even if it's smaller, even if there's less having a good time shopping. We don't have a problem with that. All right. So go ahead and subscribe uh, because I have a few other videos coming in. I got some new furniture. I want to describe how I'm doing it and how I organize my fabric. I still have a few more pointers to go with doing binding. And I have a few more lessons on how to do a lot of other things in my head that are going to come out. And you'll see them and you'll get notified if you subscribe. Leave some comments. I do try to get back to you within a week. Sometimes it takes me a little longer.